Lesson 3 The Terrain Editor Hello fellow game designers, welcome to the Wicked Cat Unity Introduction course. On the last video we started creating the branches of our tree with Unity's tree creator. Today we are going to focus on the leaves and show you how you can use your custom tree in your terrain. Step 8. The Leaves Properties Now that you have all the branches of the tree created, it's time to add leaves. On the Inspector tab, on the tree structure, select one of the branches and click on the Add Leaf Group button. This will add a leaf group to the branch. Just like the branches, the leaf groups have several properties that you can adjust in order to attain the tree you desire. The first section of properties is distribution. The group seed allows you to modify the procedural generation of the group. Next, the frequency sets the number of leaves created for each parent branch. Distribution can either be random, alternate, opposite or whirled. This allows you to select how the leaves are distributed. The twirl and the whirled step parameters show up only on certain distribution, for example, whirled. The first one defines the twirl around the parent branch, while the second one sets how many nodes are in each whirled step when using whirled distribution. The growth scale defines the scale of nodes along the parent node. The growth angle sets the initial angle of growth relative to the parent. On both parameters, you can adjust the values with the curves. On the geometry section you can modify the geometry generated for the leaf group and which materials are applied. On the geometry mode you can select plane, cross, tree cross, billboard, and mesh. If you select mesh, you will have to give the reference to the 3D mesh you want to use. On the material field, you set the material that will be applied to the leaf group. The next section, shape, lets you adjust the shape and growth of the leaves. You can define the minimum and maximum size of the leaves, and how they are aligned with the branch, using the perpendicular align and the horizontal align parameters. Finally, on the wind section, you can define how the leaves will behave with wind. On main wind you define the primary wind effect. You should keep the value low in order to avoid leaves floating away from the parent branch. Main turbulence defines the secondary turbulence effect, and edge turbulence how much wind turbulence will occur along the edges of the leaves. Step 9. Creating leaves. With your branches ready, the first thing you need to do is to select a branch. Now, click on the Add Leaf Group button. This will add a leaf group to your branch. Set the leaf group distribution to random. On the frequency, set the value to 25. On the growth angle, set the value to 0.5. On the geometry mode select cross. Adjust the size in order to have different sizes of leaves. Repeat this process until you have all the leaves you want.
If you check the area under the tree structure on the inspector tab, you will notice that you have two buttons. The first one allows you to move the leaf group, while the second one allows rotation. Use these buttons to place the leaf group the way you want. Step 10. Texturing the tree. Now that we have our tree created, it's time to texture it. Since we already have some materials from the Unity packages we imported so far, we are going to use those to texture the tree. Select the main branch of the tree. On branch material, click on the circle. This will open a window with all the materials you have in your project. Select the big tree bark material. As you can see, the branch is now texture. Do the same for the break material and select big tree bark material as well. Repeat this process to all branches. Let's move on to the leaf groups. Select a leaf group. On material, under the geometry section, click on the circle. Select the big tree material from the window. This will apply the material to the leaf group. Repeat this process to all leaf groups. As you can see, our tree is now fully texture. Step 11. Use the tree. Return to the terrain scene we have been working on. Select the terrain game object. On the inspector, click on the tree button. Click on edit tree, add tree. As you can see, you can now select the tree we have been working on. Now you can paint it like any other tree. This concludes the videos on the tree creator. On the next video we will return to the terrain and show you how to add grass to it. Please, don't forget to subscribe our channel and leave a like on the video. If you have any doubts or feedback, use the comment section below. We hope you enjoyed the video. Keep doing awesome games, and have a nice day.